produce cholesterol in the um, that is in the belly, the abdomen, anything that is making your abdomen fat. You once you take it continuously for about two weeks, three weeks, you see the results that your stomach has become flat as mine. My stomach is very flat, not because uh, I don't eat. In fact, I eat a lot, but I do take a lot of guava leaf tea. My stomach is very flat. Welcome back to Plant Lifestyles. This is a new version of guava leaves I'm going to talk about. The dry guava leaves, its benefits and how to prepare a tea from this guava leaves to get it full benefit. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button. As you are watching this video, like it. Because once you like the video, YouTube algorithm will promote us. And once you are being promoted, you do a lot of video to satisfy our viewers. So please subscribe to the channel. Plant Lifestyles. This is Plant Lifestyles. So subscribe. This is dry guava leaves. This is how it looks like. Um, please, there are two types of dry guava leaves. The one which is very brown. Please, that one, the benefits are not enough. Yes. So when you get the fresh guava leaves, you make it dry like this. So that even though it is dry, but still looks green. Yes. This dry green guava leaves is very beneficial. Those with high cholesterol. Uh, people with fat like berry that is their belly is very fat once you get this leaves make a decoction this is how we are going to prepare a decoction upon all the diseases i'm coming to mention this is how we are going to prepare the decoction get enough guava leaves the dry guava leaves once you get your guava leaves this is what you are going to do get um your cooking pots where you are going to prepare your tea get your cooking pot once you get your cooking pot you get the you plug the leaves and wash it in cold water wash it in cold water and then put it in your cooking pot once you put it in your cooking pot you add enough water then you put it on the fire or heat source for about 30 minutes once 30 minutes is passed it will be enough for you to bring it down once you bring it down, you are going to take half a cup in the morning, half a cup in the afternoon, half a cup in the evening. So this guava leaf helps you to reduce cholesterol in the um, that is in the belly, the abdomen, anything that is making your abdomen fat. You, once you take it continuously for about two weeks, three weeks, you see the results that your stomach has become flat as mine. My stomach is very flat, not because uh, I don't eat. In fact, I eat a lot. But I do take a lot of guava leaf tea. My stomach is very flat, as you can see. So if you want to get a flat tummy, flat stomach, um, that is flat berry, this is the best remedy for you. Don't go and buy any powder from online or what. Just get dry guava leaves, boil it, and then that is all. Take it for about three weeks and one, or one month and your belly will be very flat yes once again i'm talking about uh, another benefit of this guava leaf this same guava leaf is used to boost your energy for the day sometimes when you wake up in the morning you feel very weak take guava leaves and you'll be fine throughout the day you'll be active take it in the morning in the afternoon take it and then in the evening take it and guava leaves will boost your energy level yes it will make you very active in the day yes um, the next benefit of this leaf is it provides you with a lot of essential benefits that is minerals and then multivitamins and a lot of things. It is very powerful and it is high content in iron. Therefore, it restores your blood. Those who have um, low blood count, that is their platelet and then red blood source is very low. Please, when the doctor tells you your blood is very low or once you feel that you feel you are not feeling well in your body, you see that you lose blood. Just get this leaf, make a decoction, add small purple leaves. That is, get this and add purple leaves to it. Boil and take it in the morning, afternoon, and evening, and you restore your blood. Yes, I have a lot of benefits of these plants to teach on this channel. The last one I want to add is this plant is given to um, that is the children, those who are suffering from fever, um, about eight years, nine years, ten years. 
it's used to treat fever, high fever in children, and then also um, any chill, malaria, or what. Just get this dry guava leaves, make a decoction for the child, take it in the morning and in the afternoon, evening. Get a small teacup, measure it for the child to take in the morning and in the evening, and the child will be fine. Any fever, high fever, or what. It will vanish so guava leaves is used to treat high fever in children but don't give a lot of the drink just get a small cup a small tea cup measure small amounts and then give it to the child to take in the morning after in the evening and the child will be fine adults can take it adults suffering from malaria high fever typhoid stomach problems anything in your stomach that you are suffering from please get guava leaves boil as i told you it makes your tummy very flat any bloatness any constipation anything that is making your stomach stomach ulcer get guava leaves make your preparation make your decoction and then take start your journey of drinking guava leaves and that is all you are good to go yes please subscribe to my channel i have a lot of leaves to give you every plant has a benefit even this plant even this plant has a benefit. Yes, this flower, this plant has a benefit. I'll teach about it. It is spiritually powerful. It's spiritually powerful. It is used spiritually. So subscribe to the channel. I'll do another video to show you its spiritual benefits. And then, that is not what you are talking about. This is Guava Lee. So please like my video, share and comment. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. See you in the next video. Welcome back to my channel. This is Plant Lifestyles again. Today, I have a special leaf to talk about. This is the leaf. It is called Billy Goat Weed. Billy Goat Weed. I'm going to talk about how this leaf is used to treat sexual dysfunction and then um, boost your libido. Yes. This plant has been used for a lot of centuries and it has been used for boosting libido and then treating sexual dysfunction. So please subscribe to the channel for more videos, hit the like button, comment, anything you don't understand, just comment in the comment box. Yes, so this is the leaf. Just look at it well. There are a lot of benefits, it's spiritual benefits and physical benefits. But today I'll just talk about one physical benefit and then one spiritual benefit. But the first physical benefit is we use this to treat sexual dysfunction and then uh, our men you can use this one to also boost your libido for both men and women used to boost your libido so how am i going to use this you are going to make a decoction from it yes you are going to make a decoction from it so once you get enough leaf the first thing you have to do is when you get enough leaves just gather the the leaves and then put it in a pan or a saucepan Add small amount of salt, let it stand for about three hours before you pour out the salt, that is the salt solution from the leaves. You wash it again and then you can then put it on the fire and then add water to make a decoction from it. You can take it in the morning, in the afternoon and the evening to treat any sexual dysfunction. Yes, once again, I'm going to talk about the physical um, benefits of this plant.